to do this, I propose the following. First of all, only two terms for all U.S. Senators and only four terms for all U.S. Representatives. Senators and Representatives, you don't know the pain we're suffering. So to help you get back in line with what the American people are feeling, I'm proposing a 20% immediate pay reduction until the economy gets straightened out. This way we can be assured that you'll be as interested in this as we are. Second of all, I'm sick and tired of lobbies coming to Washington and buying up our congressmen and our senators. So to prevent this, there will be no more for-profit lobbies in Washington, D.C. No more shooting fish in a barrel. You're going to have to buy your senators in their own home district. I know I can't prevent it altogether, but we can make it a heck of a lot harder on you to do it. And then the next thing I'm proposing is no more than one federal government pension. Guys come in and have three and four jobs in government and walk away with pensions from each. This has got to go. The only exception will be for career military service, followed by a government job of more than 10 years. Our soldiers have earned their pensions and they deserve them. Now, I'm never going to be able to pull this off, and I realize that, without the help of our women. And we need them. Their wisdom is sorely missing. So I am proposing the revolutionary WRA, the Woman's Repatriation Amendment. You know there are only two senators that are women and only 28 representatives on a national level. The Woman's Repatriation Amendment will give women back representation in Congress. To do this, sometimes more is more. I am going to add 50 new United States senators and 50 a 150 new representatives. Now, the law will state, the WIRA will state, that no fewer than one-third of either house will be comprised by either gender. This means that 48 of the, new of the 50 new senators will have to be women, and 150 of the new representatives will be women. Women entering under the WRA will have their own status as the feminine political party. Men, come and join the feminine party if you want. Women, go ahead and be Democrats and Republicans, but there will be no fewer than one-third of either gender in either house. That's how we're going to do it. What are you going to do as president to get things really rolling for us? Well, Freethinker, to do it, we're going to have to have a bold vision of the future direction of this country. I have that. Some people have compared my campaign to the heroic quest. They say it's preposterous that a man can come out of nowhere and run for president. I find it preposterous that our political leadership is going to serve us up the same old shell game one more time and make us choose between the lesser of two incompetencies. You've all become too aware to buy the same old bad leadership, especially at this most critical time in our history. I'm counting on everyone to realize that the rules themselves that they're trying to convince us are the only rules we can play by are the real problem. I'm counting on you to be fed up enough to look behind the curtain, even though the wizard is telling us not to. Now, last year, We've seen how fast impossible world changes can occur. Right now, we need a genuine man of the people, and that man of the people will be for all the people, not just the politically connected or the bureaucratically literate. I believe that George Bush has a dream for a new world order, but he lacks the commitment to end the corruption that will make that new world order something good for the people. In 1980, Reagan promised to dismantle the federal bureaucracy if elected president. All he did was deregulate it out into the private sector beyond the control of government. See, we all want to hear that someone's going to attack this corruption. And we can't do anything until we start by attacking it. Cutting this corruption and bureaucracy will mean getting tax relief. will prevent them from squandering our money. Conservative estimates range in the half figure. Can you imagine half of the money you send in they waste? 
Now, with that money, I'm going to put people back to work rebuilding this country, rebuilding affordable housing and roads and cities so they last. We'll put people to work cleaning up our environment and provide incentives to change over polluting technologies into life-enhancing ones. I intend to revamp our entire educational system so children can learn at their own pace and all be guaranteed an education that they desire. My programs for crime include social re-education so that we stop turning people into criminals instead of building more prisons to lock them up once we've abandoned them. Nor will I abandon the senior citizens who through mismanagement of their pension funds are forced to live below poverty levels. I have a plan with the women in government that will help me break the lobbies that prevent national health care and I will spend responsibly and accountably whatever it takes to solve our AIDS crisis. I will bring in the best and the brightest minds that are not connected with the good old boy network and together we the people can really solve these problems. I know I can't do this alone. It will take the combined effort of the American people involved in the heroic quest to elect me president and send a clear mandate to the rest of the elect to either listen to the will of the American people or be voted out of office. I don't think it's preposterous that we could awaken from our political trance and remember that the power to guide the direction of our country still lies in the hands of the people. Now, if you are fed up enough to support a man for the White House who has never been part of the problem and has the courage to do what he says he will, I am your man. Thank you, Freethinker, for this opportunity. Thank you, America. Good night. Man, there's not too much else to say. You want to go get some coffee? Freethinker back with you for just a closing thought. The last American beatnik is waiting for me over at Mike's coffee house. And I can't wait to join him. The future looks real bright. It's amazing when you stop to consider all the political malarkey that we are fed. And it's good to see that somebody, even the wildest of long shots, is trying to do something about it. Now, I don't know what chances he has, but it's sure nice to hear someone say something that makes sense politically. I guess that's it for now. I'm still a little shocked. Of all the things that's happened to me, the prospects for a bright future, seems to be the thing that's hardest for us all as Americans to comprehend of. But I guess we're just going to have to live with that. For now, I am the free thinker. Be cool and remember to vote. Good night from the studio.